Good morning, grade twos. I'm so happy to see you again. And today, before we commence with our handwriting lesson, I thought let me just take some time to explain to you why you should learn to write cursive. You already have learned to write print, and now we're teaching you cursive. All right. So I've written down a few reasons here for you so that it will keep you motivated to keep on practicing. I know. Some of you are very excited about cursive handwriting and then there are others who just feel, why? Why should I be doing this? This is not really fun for me. I struggle too much. But really guys, just be strong at heart. With practice, everything comes right. And if there's something that you struggle with, just do that little bit over and over until you get it better. Will you remember to do that? Awesome. So here's some of the reasons why you should be doing cursive handwriting. Number one, cursive writing makes you smart. Yes, when you learn to write cursive, your brain gets freed up to think about more difficult things because you wouldn't have to concentrate so much on every single letter that you are forming. Secondly, it teaches you to read cursive and reading cursive is really fun because you see the whole word quickly and it just makes a whole lot of sense. You will get quicker with writing where it would perhaps take 20 minutes for you to write seven sentences. Once you can write cursive and writing, you might only need seven minutes to write seven sentences. Others can read your work more easily. And that is true. Because you are writing more easily. When others read your work, they will also read it more easily. It helps with learning. In other words, if you are taking notes when somebody's talking and you are quickly writing in cursive, then because you have more time to think about what the person is saying, you will have, um, uh, when, while you are writing it, you will have a better memory afterwards of what was being said. And then it helps with spelling. You know, some of the words and, or some of the letters in print is actually quite tricky. Think about the B and the D. They look so similar. It's just the long tail this side or the long tail that side. And some of you get really confused with that. You also get confused with the, the uh, K and the O and the A. And exactly those letters are the ones that we are learning about this week. So, before I get too carried away and too excited about why we are learning cursive, let's get into our regular finger exercises. Right, so, it's always a good idea to just start shaking out and rubbing and warming up a bit. You might feel, you might think your hands are not cold, but once you take that pencil and you start writing, it sometimes just feels so stiff. Isn't that so? Look, I'm making the hook. <laughs> And I'm a poet. Look, I'm making the hook. And clench the fist. And the hook. And the fist. And the hook. Thumb fights. And I'm pressing hard. I'm getting good at this. But yet, I cannot manage to beat that. Thumb. Right, so now we're going to do some exercises, eye exercises. Look at your thumb, closer to your nose, forward, look up. Look at your thumb, closer to your nose, forward, look up. Look at your thumb, closer to your nose, forward, look up. Put your thumbs either side of your body and roll your eyes sideways. There we go, like a chameleon. And am I turning my head? 
No, I wish my eyes could do what the comedian's eyes can do. Hey, don't look at me now. Keep focused on your thumbs. There we go. Now for today, let's draw some lines on the ceiling. Let's go from left to right. From left to right. Oh, you're seeing it the other way around. <laughs> okay, that side to that side, that side to that side. And let's go from the other side. There, 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 there. And the lazy eight, up, around, up, to the left, up. My head is keeping still, up. Don't move your head, come on. Up, and make it nice and big. Around, up, round to the sides, up. Round to the sides, up. Round to the sides, up. Around, up, to the left, up. To the right, up, and let's swap hands. Now the left hand, to the left, up, to the right, up, to the left, up, to the right, up, to the left, up, to the right, up, to the left, up. And let me tell you, these exercises work I've seen it with my own eyes. When I went back to the optometrist, he said, hey, your eyes are getting better. And that's what I want for all of you. We're going to start, first of all, we're going to start with a cursive K. We will just do the waves. Remember, you've watched those surface, how they go up to the tip of the wave and glide back into the wave. And remember, when you do the inside of the wave, it's like writing a print K or R. It is something that you already know. Watch carefully and do that. We go up, around, back around, over, back around, over, back around, and away. There we go. Yesterday, we spent some time practicing the R. Oh. So, we're going to do the R oh again. And I promise I won't make a fat one like the one I made yesterday. So, here we go. We go up, over, back around, close, out. Finger space, I space at the bottom because I start at the bottom. Up, over, back around, close. Now watch, watch. Up, over, back around, close. Keep watching. Up, over, back around, close, and away. Can you see that? So we, oh, this one I didn't close at the secret place. Oh, oh, okay. We always try and see that people can't see where we close the R. Remember that? You could do your secret. Okay, now we're going to do the cursive A. And this is it with, with the K, the R, and the A. If you can do the one properly, the others come easily. The A, I think, personally, I think it's one of the easier ones. But watch, watch, never ever be overconfident. So, we go. We go up, over, back around, up, down, small around, away. And let's do the second one. Up, over, back around. Up, down, small around the way. Guys, always remember your position, how to sit. Hold your book with one hand, feet together, back straight. Keep a distance between your eyes and the book. And remember what I told you? I told you, if you right-handed, the page turns up that way. If you left-handed, the page turns slightly up to the left. 
right handed tilts up to the right, left handed tilts up to the left. Please remember that. Okay, there's the ah, uh, ah, uh, and here we go. Ah, uh, over, back around, up, down, smaller round away. Do you want a, a word? Ha! I knew you would ask for one. So I'm going to give you a word. Let's see if I can think of a nice word. I think I do have one. K. Oh, I wonder if you can guess what I'm going to write. A. Up. Down. Small around. Around. Up. Over, small around, away, and it says, what does it say? Can, of course. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me.